So the first thing that you're probably wondering is why would I want to enable HTTP strict transport security or HSTS in IIS for my applications? Essentially what this feature does is it lets the different web browsers know that, hey, every time you connect up to this website, you should use HTTPS instead of HTTP. And it helps reduce the man in the middle attacks where they can intercept different requests and responses between the server and the browser. And so in IIS version 10, it natively supports the ability for you to set HSTS for those connections. And that way, as the browser makes the request, it's going to know that it should always use HTTPS instead of HTTP, regardless of what's typed in the browser. So let's walk through how we would enable this in IIS 10. You can see that I have the IIS manager already open. I've come down to my default website. And over on the right hand side, underneath configure, you can see HSTS. If I click on that, I can then click enable. I can set a max age, and this is in seconds of how long the browser should remember that the site should be accessed through HTTPS instead of HTTP. So you can set that again in seconds to whatever you want. You can also tell it to include subdomains. So if you set that, any subdomains of the primary domain will automatically get this setting as well. So that's an easy way to not have to set it for everything. You can also select the redirect HTTP to HTTPS, which is recommended. That's the whole point of this, right? And then we can also do preload. Preload, basically there's a list of sites that should be preloaded in the browser. So that already has to be put into a list um, for that to work. Usually you'll just leave that unchecked, but you'll usually have enable selected, include your max age, check the include subdomains, and then redirect HTTP to HTTPS and then click OK. And that will enable that setting for you. If you are using Laserfish Forms, there is another way of doing this as well. So you can still do it in IIS Manager, or we can come into Forms Config, go to Form Server, and then the Security tab, and you can see that there is an HTTP Security Header option that will enable it there as well. So by default on new installations, this is checked. If you have an older installation, it may not be checked. So you can decide where you want to enable that at. And that's all there is. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, keep fishing.